I want to welcome everyone to the final session of the 2023 NNLM Symposium on Health Misinformation. We're glad you're able to join us for this final session today. Oops, too soon. Go back. Um, just a few technical items before we get started. I'm sure you've all heard this before. But we just want to make sure everyone knows that. You can use the chat for questions or comments during this session. We will be keeping an eye on them. If you have logistical questions about the webinar or anything else, please feel free to use the CE um, and we'll try to get those, or I'm sorry, the Q&A and we'll try to get those answered for you. Um, if you're chatting with your fellow attendees, you can use um, everyone from the drop down menu when posting your question and comments in chat and to ensure that everyone sees them. Feel free to give a shout out and let us know where you're joining um, us from right now. You can we do have a live closed captioner for this final event and you can access closed captionings by clicking on the icon at the three dots and then selecting closed captioning. And of course, if you're sharing on social media, um, use the hashtag for the event health misinfo NNLM. And with that, we're going to go into our closing remarks from Martha Meacham, the project director at the Network of the National Library of Medicine. Hi, everyone. Um, I, I, as we reach the conclusion of the NNLM Health Misinformation Symposium, I'm leaving inspired and overwhelmed in a, in a good way. Um, I know that I have a lot to think about and I wanna catch up on these sessions that I was not able to attend. Um, I was impressed with the breadth of topics covered from comics to cholera and research to social media. I'm particularly impressed with the ways people are addressing and connecting with communities. For example, transgender youth and those in Alaska. There is clearly a lot of work being done and I'm leaving hopeful in the progress and in direction we are headed. I like to say that our work at the Network of the National Library of Medicine is to ensure that anyone and everyone who could benefit from health information has the ability to access and understand quality, reliable health information to increase health literacy and promote informed decision-making about their health. We do this in many ways, from classes and trainings, to offering funding, to generally providing outreach and community connections. Events like this Health Misinformation Symposium exemplify the NNLM work and mission. We want to reach as many people as possible and make the biggest impact as possible. By you attending this symposium, you are helping make that happen. The NNLM will continue to provide resources and information that will be a benefit to you and those you work with, from community to colleagues, even family and friends. Please keep an eye out on our website at nnlm.gov. I also wanted to highlight a new project we have, the NNLM Discovery Podcast Series. In the short episodes of the series, we highlight stories from around the country on a variety of topics. Listen and learn more at nnlm.gov slash podcast. We look forward to doing more work like this in the future. Please feel free to reach out to us and let us know what else would be helpful or interesting. But it takes a village to make all this possible. I want to take a moment to thank all of those who have made this such a wonderful event. First and foremost is the team that brought the event from idea to reality. We had participation from across NNLM. There were a variety of roles and tasks and everyone really stepped in to help. I am so proud of the NNLM team for their creativity, ingenuity, hard work and dedication. While we had many people helping on the details, I want to especially give a shout out to the following people who were part of the planning team. Tiffany Chavez from Region 1, Elizabeth Ross from Region 2, Margie Shepard from Region 3, Carolyn Martin from Region 5, Miles Diaz Castell from Region 6, Sean Corning from Region 7, Veronica Milliner from the NNLM All of Us Program Center, and Javier Crespo from the National Public Health Coordination Office. Finally, a special thanks goes to Bobby Newman from Region 6, who was the driving force behind this event. Bobby and her team truly made this into an amazing experience. Second, I wanna thank those that gave presentations during the symposium. There was a lot of inspirational and necessary work going on 
to address topics around misinformation. The fact that we had so many presenters on so many topics speaks volumes about the importance and timeliness of this topic. Thank you to the speakers who took their time to share their work and ideas. Finally, I wanna thank all of you that attended. While going virtually has certainly made events like this more accessible, it still is a commitment of time and energy to attend. I think the fact that we had so much participation speaks to the importance and necessity of this topic. I hope that you have learned something and will share what you have learned. And with that, I wanna offer some final thoughts on what I'm taking away from this program. Misinformation is no longer a new or small pro uh, problem. In truth, it was never new and never small, but we have seen it in recent years become insidious and destructive. It has infiltrated almost all parts of our lives. Obviously this symposium and the NNLM are concerned with health information and literacy, but the issues and tools needed to address misinformation are widespread. There was so much quality insight and innovation presented during this symposium. So here is my call to action. Take at least one thing you learned during these three days, put it into practice and share it with le at least one other person, although more people, the better. And let's especially focus on those that may not have had a chance to attend or may be less aware of this information. I truly believe that good information can go a long way to combating misinformation. We must share and do. I know I'm preaching to the choir when I tell you all this. Many of you already do a lot and you know the necessity, but the amazing thing about this symposium, the thing that I'm taking away has been the sheer number of ideas and practical options that have been presented. I'm so grateful for what I've learned during this symposium and now I want to implement. Of course, we have much more to learn and understand. So keep learning, sharing and doing. We have a lot to work to do. So thank you for making this Health Information Symposium part of your process. We hope to keep the conversation going. So please feel free to reach out to anyone at the NNLM to learn more. And with that, I will turn it back over to Bobby Newman with some last details, but thank you so much again and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much, Martha. Um, I hope everyone will forgive me a few closing remarks of my own. Um, as we end this three-day health misinformation symposium, I wanna thank each and every one of you for your participation, insights, and contribution to this important event. Over the past three days, we've discovered the critical issues of health misinformation, heard from a very diverse group of experts and engaged in meaningful conversations and networking opportunities. We have learned about the impact of health misinformation on individuals and society, the challenges and considerations of fact-checking health misinformation, and the various strategies and approaches to address this issue. Throughout the symposium, we've had the privilege of hearing from keynote speakers, attending panel discussions, exploring resources, and building connections with colleagues from various backgrounds and perspectives. We are committed to promoting accurate health information and empowering individuals to make informal decisions about their health. As Martha said, as we conclude this symposium, I want to encourage all of us to continue this critical work in our communities and beyond. Let's use the knowledge, resources, and connections we've gained over the past three days to further our work in combating health misinformation. I also want to acknowledge the complicated and often frustrating nature of combating health misinformation. It is an ongoing struggle and it requires collaboration, determination, and patience. However, I am heartened by the dedication and the passion of everyone who's participated in this symposium, both as presenters and attendees. It is clear that we are all committed to promoting accurate health information and empowering individuals to make informed decisions about their health. Their health. As we wrap up, I wanna encourage all of us to continue to learn, collaborate, and take action. And I, we can use the knowledge and connections we've gained to further our work. Let us remain optimistic and positive about the impact we can make together. Finally, I want to express my sincere gratitude to the attendees, presenters, and especially the network of the National Library of Medicine team who helped to make this symposium possible and make a positive impact on the health and well-being of individuals and communities. I would like to remind you that this is not the end of our efforts to address health misinformation. 
Over the oncoming year, we have a variety of activities planned, including a health misinformation webinar series. Right now, we have four additional sessions planned, and you can find more about them about them on our website and register for those events. As always, there is no cost to attend events from the network of the National Library of Medicine. And that is it. it we are done with the event. Um, I'm going to put a link to a feedback survey in the chat. If you would take a few minutes to fill that out, even if you don't need CE, we would really greatly appreciate your feedback to help improve future events. If you're looking for CE from the Medical Library Association or CHES, please follow the instructions at the end of this feedback survey to claim those CE credits. And then I'm going to once again encourage you, if you have not, to join the network of the National Library of Medicine. Membership is organizational, not individual. And if anybody has any questions about the logistics of claiming your C or anything else, go ahead and ask them now. But I don't think there's any general questions probably for Martha or I. So if you don't grab the link from the chat, you'll also get an email uh, encouraging you to take that survey in the next couple of days from our hosts at VFAIR. So we'll be looking for that email if you missed it. Um, you'll also get a couple of reminders because we do really want that feedback. So even if you don't need CE, please take that survey for us. All right, thank you everyone for your time and attention for the last three days and have a great weekend.